First open Start and then type PowerShell. Right-click PowerShell and select Run as Administrator. Press Yes. Copy the text that you'll find in the description of this video. Right-click the white frame. Select Edit and then Paste. Press Enter. Type, Exit and then press Enter. Now restart. Now your problem should be fixed. If that didn't work. First open Start and type WS Reset. Click on WS Reset. Wait for the Windows Store to be repaired. If that didn't work. First open Start. Click on Settings. Click on Apps. Go to Apps and Features. Locate the Microsoft Store. Click on it and select Advanced Options. Locate Reset. Click on Reset. Press Reset again. Wait for the Windows Store to reset. Open the Windows Store. Now your problem should be fixed. If that didn't work. First open Start and type CMD. Right-click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Press Yes. Type, NetStop Wuow Serve and then press Enter. Type, net stop crypt svc and then press enter. Type, net stop bits and then press enter. Type, net stop msi server and then press enter. Type, ren c, slash windows slash software distribution software distribution dot old and then press enter.
Type Ren C slash Windows slash System 32 slash Catroot 2 Catroot 2 dot old and then press Enter. Type net start wuow serve and then press enter. Type net start crypt svc and then press enter. Type net start bits and then press enter. Type net start msi server and then press enter. Type, exit and then press enter. Now restart. A Windows update should be repaired. If that didn't work. First open start and type control panel. Open your control panel. Open network and internet. Open network and sharing center. Open change adapter settings. Right click your network adapter and select properties. Select Internet Protocol 4. Click on Properties. Select Use the following DNS server addresses. In preferred DNS type, 1, 1, 1, 1. In alternate DNS type, 1, 0, 0, 1. Press OK. Close the window and your problem should be fixed.